when angels creep in doorless chambers and strange and frightening sounds echo in the walls. We never can have a What did you think of the beginning of this video? I have been working so hard on that. Finding the royalty free stuff and bringing it in. Oh, but I had fun doing it. I had so much fun doing it. Do you see what we're getting into? This is not a save video. This is all about bringing spooky, grin, grimming, was it grim grinning ghosts? and Halloween and really fun stuff into the next, I don't know, um, wow. It could be about six weeks, right? Six weeks. I'd like to see me go maybe eight weeks. Ooh, could you imagine eight weeks? And then we bring fall in? Because uh, I don't want to skip fall. I would like fall to come in mid-October and into Thanksgiving. And then the day after Thanksgiving, kick off Christmas again. I don't want Christmas to um, overlap with Halloween and Thanksgiving. All right. Can we talk about this? I bought these, I don't know, over a year ago. Over a year ago. Yeah, so I got these about a year ago in Disney. And I thought that I was going to make them a part of a giveaway. But... And you can see my tags are still on them. They've never been used, but I can't part with them. I just can't. I don't, I, I love, love, love them. I actually have, I, I know I'm bringing something in here that's not. I also have Groot. And they sit in a pen holder to my right. And I just love, love, love to look at them. Okay. So you know what? Maybe we leave them right about there. Oh my gosh, you're probably thinking, Donna, what the heck do you got going on here? So what am I bringing to today's video? I would like to show, I do believe I didn't leave anything out. And if I did, maybe you guys can let me know. These are all my Halloween challenges. Now, last month, I did kick this off. I am going to work really hard before you even see this video to get a section on my .com where all you have to do is click Halloween, right? Or search Halloween and everything Halloween jumps out at you. This was the Halloween countdown book. Now this is actually 31 and 31 days of savings. So this was your title page, but you get to do things. It's almost like a double savings challenge. The way this works is that there are 31 icons in here. You can roll and save. You can pick specific um, denominations. You know what? You do whatever you'd like to do. And I thought that I would kick off this in September, right? Or, yeah, this in September and then count down with the icons in October. So it's two week, two months of saving. Um, and I think I'm going to stick with that plan. So even though I'm not going to start working on this for two weeks, this is going to be my, this is going to be, I'm beyond excited. Can you all tell that? If you can tell I am beyond excited, hashtag 31, hashtag 31. Do you know I've been saving the date? So August, um, had its own. Now, I think this is going to become September's, and then the book is October's. So I have the next two months planned out, right? That's what I'm gonna do with this one. Now, inside of this binder, right, which is the A5, 
I just made two folders. And what am I going to do with those? What goes inside of this binder? <laughs> the scratch-offs. So let's talk about the scratch-offs. We have Halloween Town. All of my, most of my, 99% of my scratch-offs come in low denomination and higher denomination. So when you go to put them in your cart, make sure that they are the denomination that suits your budget. So here we have Halloween Town, right? Then we have a little hocus pocus. We have the lower and the higher. So I'm gonna divide them up. Then where do we go from there? Let's go into Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice has um, low and high. And then we have another Beetlejuice. Right, look at those. Don't say it, don't say it three times, don't do it. And then we have the Corpse Pride. These are all things that were once a you asked for it. Yep, these were all a, a you asked for it. So then let's go into Jack and Sally, right? So funny, I, I, I say the words Jack and Sally and I think of the Blink-182 song. Yeah, I go there. And we have another Jack and Sally. We have a Jack. And then we get into our mini monsters. We have Jason. We have Michael. We have Scream. And then we have Freddy. Okay. These are our scratch offs. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So that's what goes inside of the big, um, the big one. So what I like to do is I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna divide them and I think I'm gonna divide them with a paper clip. So I'm gonna put the smaller denomination, I don't know if my thing will close, in the front. I might have to use a regular paper clip. Okay, my small denomination, I know you can't see me, is in the front. And my bigger is in the back and then in the front folder is going to be the challenges that are in play once I start saving with Halloween challenges so that's two Halloween binders all right this is a sticker that is on my dot com for your um, a6s this is a dashboard that if you use the clear or even if you use the other ones these are dashboards they are also sold Okay, huh. let's get into our Halloween money. You see, we have Nightmare Before Christmas, NBC, right? That's how we say it. And then this is the $5 one. The 10. Oh, handsome Mr. Jack. And of course, zero. And then we have Miss Sally. We got them. And then we have the montage. And we can't be complete without Mr. Oogie Boogie. Okay. <clears throat> Those are the monies. We do have a set of um, trackers, right? If you, if you need a cash tracker, we have a Halloween set. All right. Then what I want to do with you is I need those on standby. We have, we have the guys. I really should just get rid of the tags. I know I am a tag person. I'm going to leave them right there. So we have the, um, book form of the guys but what I didn't want like this is just a Halloween sinking fund envelope but I'm gonna use it as a dashboard right so I thought that would be cool if we did it together now if you're new and I know we have some newbies when you order my things you can actually cut on the black line or you can cut on the inner of the 
markings. Everybody does it differently. Uh, Jack from My Girl Budgeting was on the live Saturday, Sunday night, and she made them bigger. She glues hers. I tape mine. But you know what? It's all a matter of preference. So you know what? This time around, I'm going to... I'll cut on the bigger one, which I normally do not do. And I'm just going to do this really quick with you. And I figured we can talk. So I have always been a Halloween girl. And I think I was always a Halloween girl because it was a holiday that was extremely fun, right? But it was also a holiday that you didn't have to get extremely crazy with gifts, right? There were really no gifts except for your kid's Halloween party. Now, when we lived on Long Island, I was crazy into decorating curb appeal. I have... I used to decorate with lights for every holiday. And I always had a scarecrow type person sitting in an Adirondack chair on Halloween, uh, like for the month of Halloween, right? So it would be John's old uh, dungarees and a sweatshirt and I'd stuff it with newspapers and grocery bags and I'd put a, um, I don't know, a fake head on it. Well, on Halloween at night, <clears throat> I would, the kids wouldn't know any better because it would be dark. They would think it was just the scarecrow type thing, right? I'd get in the clothes and I'd only scare the kids I knew. I only scared the kids I knew. And I was only get, able to get away with that like one or two years. They, they didn't fall for it after that. And you see what I just did? I just cut them, and I'm in love with them. They're good to go. And we are ready to save. I'm going to put these aside, and then we're going to talk a little bit more. I need to make these their own book also. I want to make sure that these fit in. Um, I want to use... I want to use the square books. And I don't know if cutting them on the bigger, yep, cutting them on the bigger works. All right, so some people actually tape or you can actually glue. I prefer tape because then your money fits in there a little looser, right? That's how I like it. If you were to glue it, the glue takes up a little bit more real estate. Um, so anyways, I would decorate for every single holiday. And you know what the funny thing is? <laughs> my kids, my kids hated trick-or-treating. Hated it. They would go around the block once, right after school, and never wanted to go back out again. I, I don't know, I don't know why. John and I would be like, come on, let's go. We used to put them in the radio flyer wagon. They wouldn't like, when they were little, of course. I mean, and at one point, a few years back, Vinny said to me, he, I don't know what, how it's, I don't know how it transpired, but he must've been talking with Shannon. And he's like, yeah, I don't remember Halloween's. I don't think we did anything for Halloween's. I don't remember this, this, and this. And I'm like, I had a heart attack. Do you know that I was the host house, meaning Halloween, we had the greatest mom group. Um, the greatest mom group. Oh, I should have cut them on the other line. That's okay. Um, I used to do a Halloween party for the kids on like the Saturday, Saturday or Sunday before Halloween, and every mom would bring a dish. And make sure, that, and we used to do like pass the bucket and things like that. And Vinny at one point, he's like, I don't remember that. And granted, we moved when Vinny was heading into middle school. So some of those memories are little kid memories. So that forced me to go and look for old, old photos. And once I showed it to him, he was like, oh, 
And then it was just funny how, like, you kids just don't remember everything. And we always went above and beyond. And then sometimes you go, hmm, why did I do that? They don't remember it anyway. But I guess I did it because I loved, loved, loved doing it. All right, these are going to be a little off for me because my old ones I cut on the colored line and the new ones I wanted to show you that you have two different choices in coloring. Now, these are super cute and they they read like a book. These these were I guess my beginning book challenges, right? They really were. And I'm going to do it like this. I'll put I'll put Jason in the back. Do you know that this was my first horror movie in the movie theaters? My brother took me. I remember. If you are, and, and our moderator, Jason, is probably going to be like, oh my gosh. Even though he's a little younger, my brother took me. My thing is off. My brother took me to, oh, I made these for the bigger, all right, these are going to be off on me. That's okay. My brother took me to the RKO Keith's, which was in Flushing, Queens, and it was one of those really old-time movie theaters that had balconies, and it was a theater. Unbelievable. I saw that. And if you remember this movie, well, if you watch this movie, so whatever movie this came out, let's ask. I'm thinking I was probably in eighth grade. I, I, I don't know. For some reason, I'm thinking that. What year did Friday the 13th come out? 1980. I was in eighth grade. And my brother took me to the movies. And if you remember that there was a little bit of a romantic scene um, in this movie, well, my brother couldn't grab my face fast enough to cover my eyes. How, how cute was that? But he takes me to see a horror movie. <laughs> if that made you laugh, hashtag, um, hashtag, 13, right? Hashtag 13. I think I need, I think I need something on this. And I think I need, I think I need a cover that has all the little monsters on it. I think I'm going to have to design a cover for this. All right. So that's coming, right? I'm going to do that. If that made you laugh, right? It takes me to a horror movie where everybody's dying, but he <laughs> covers my eyes. And then I remember we stopped and we got a pizza pie and we went home and we ate it. We ate, between he and I, we ate the entire pie. It doesn't sound like much, but it was. Um, okay. So Halloween and I am wearing my Halloween shirt. I made this. Can I show you? <gasps> I made this. Made this. I'm in Halloween mode. Yes. All right. I hope this video is making you all smile. I really, really am. In fact, you know what? Hold on. I'm reaching above me. Don't go anywhere. I think, I think this guy needs to go on my binder. What do you think? Yep. I have a collection of these and I think he needs to go on my binder. Which binder does he go on, though? Hmm. Let's see. Uh, and this is glow in the dark. Isn't that cute? That's so cute. I am thinking. I don't know if I put a hole in that one. Oh, there's already a hole in this. So I'm going to put it in this one. All right. That hole is so not big enough, but it will work. Maybe it'll keep it tight. And I'll dangle him for, for Halloween. All right, what are we up to next? 
we are up to the fact that we're going to need this punch. And this is a divider. I have dividers on my um, website, right? Because I divide my book. But I've decided that I'm not going to use this. I want to use this one. But let me show you something. I'm going to take this off and I'll be right back. Be right back. What I have to do is because I film and you see how glary it gets, I like to just print the cover so that there is no glare. Sometimes people ask me how come I don't laminate my things. Don't laminate my, my stuff because the glare, it's, it's not comfortable when you're watching a video. At least in, in my head, it's not. So I choose not to do that. And I just make a copy of this. I'm going to go that way. And I have, don't laugh at me, this is an extremely old crafting tool, right? Which I've had Tinkerbell on <laughs> from back in the day. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch, I'm going to punch my, um, My punch is acting up. I'm going to have to have John um, give it a little grease. And this is what I do. I take my cover and I line up my holes, right, like that. But just on my front corners, my top corners and stuff, I give it a little tape because I don't want to ruin that. And it is um, a plastic because... You know, if I'm not filming, it will work. Like, you know what I mean? The glare is not going to kill me. And I just run a little bit of my tape down. I know, I'm bringing a little of my old school craftiness in. And now we have Jack, but he's not going to kill us with the glare. That's how I like to do it. All right. And I thought that we will um, take apart Donna for the next two months, right? And Jack is gonna come and play for Halloween. Halloween, right? So this was something I picked up at Walmart. And this was about goals and stuff, but because he's on that, I'm gonna save it. It came with, and it was on walmart.com. And when I bought this, I had buyer's remorse, and you'll see why. So we got some Jack stickers, right, and Sally, and I'm going to use them. When you look at my binder, there are certain things in here that I absolutely love. A note from Vinny, my brain dump stuff, huh, our affirmations, which will be back later. So what I want to do is, this is kind of a walkthrough, and I mean, look at how stinking cute this is. Am I going to use it for these right now? No. So what do I want to do? I just want to take these out. And this is what we would call Frankensteining it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this together because then that will make me know that I... That was a section. And I'm just going to take this out. Hopefully you're still hanging with me. And maybe you could leave me um, something down below about your holiday, your Halloween, um, I don't know, favorites. After I get this video up, I have a members-only video from last night that I'm going to share with my members. So if you're a member, please check that out. And then I still have to do my Save With Me video today. But look at how stinking cute this is. I, I have to I have to find a way to bring and incorporate this into life. Maybe for the next two months. And do you happy plan? Do you have um do you have this? And I'm gonna leave this back here because I don't think it's gonna make or break me right now. I'm gonna move that to the side. Now things that we need. I am going to put affirmations in the front behind Sally, because I want to see Sally. 
and I'm going to bring Mickey in because he is my clear divider, and he's my boyfriend, right? Can't forget him. And I want to bring the affirmation section in. And he's the divider where it tells me that's where the affirmations go. All right. If you are enjoying this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I haven't been using this section of the notebook, so I'm going to leave that there. Um, my to-do lists, everything's in here. I do track stuff. Um, we have all that. But what I am going to bring in is, inside this one, I am going to bring in... I'm going to bring it all in because I want it to stay together. I think it just looks nice. You're probably saying, Donna, what are you doing? You should have just changed the, the outsides. But I could have. I could have. But I, I do. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do that. I, I'm changing life, right? I'm changing it gonna make my life easier I could have just did that from the beginning but you know what you're hanging with me life is good we're into spooky Halloween mode and we'll see where this takes us I don't have to divide this entire thing but what I what I will do is I will bring in our dividers only because they talk Halloween to me We'll see where we put this. And we're definitely going to switch out the covers. Okay. Because I still want to get to these. All right, let me, let me get to these. I will put you on pause and then I'm going to fire it back up when I'm, I'm going to fast forward this. I am back and what I did was I switched out the front covers right so this is gonna be my new one for the next two months right we'll do October actually eight nine ten weeks we got ten weeks of this I'm loving it loving it and I really would like to get myself back into all parts of what is in here because everything that's in here is important to me I did divide everything, but now we're over here into current, right? So in the back of my book, I have my current, I have games which I'm not into right now, and I have my faith challenge. So current, I did sneak some stuff in here that's going to still be in play. But what I want to do is, after faith, after faith, I would like to put in this one, which will become Halloween. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this down. Part of me says that my, the entire color that I trim on. So if you just watch me, I'm trimming around the color. And you know what's funny? I don't have a favorite color. I used to. I, I, all right. Let's talk about this for a second. Um, do you have a favorite color, yes or no? And just a color, yes, color, no, right? And has it changed? 
let's talk color. So do color dot, 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 yes. And has it changed? I don't know, find a way to tell me this story because I've had favorite colors and they have changed so much over the years. I used to love, love, love yellow, right? And then I fell in love with uh, blue and then I fell in love with uh, red and they became my favorite colors. I was never, mama bear, don't get mad at me. I was never a pink girl or a purple, purple girl, never. I like them, I appreciate them, but I don't love them. But can I tell you, come October, orange and green, these two colors become my favorites. It's, it's wild, wild. Okay, so we now have a new section inside of this book, right? And I'll make myself a little tab. I'll make myself a little tab and I will um, know that Halloween is in the back. What do I plan on bringing in for Halloween or for the next eight weeks? My 10 weeks. I gotta get that straight. We're bringing back this one. Even though we don't play games, this one has to come into play, right? Then I have Halloween costumes. Now, you don't have to save for Halloween. This is just a very, very cute challenge. And, oh my gosh, I used to host the best adult Halloween parties. And the best part was I used to rent like the Knights of Columbus and I would charge per head and there was no, like not to be make, make money, but it would always go back. There would be giveaways. And then um, it was just amazing. The food, the turnout, the decorating. And let me tell you, the mom's group, it wasn't just me. I had the best group of girlfriends that pulled together when our kids were little. Oh my gosh, the memories, the flooding. Then this was for the not so scary Halloween party. Do you need to um, be a part of that? No. Do, do you need to be going to that? No. It's a $300 save. How awesome would it be? That would be $30 a week. Oh, I'm going to break it down into 10 weeks. Okay. I'm going to do that one. And then this one is from Halloween Town. This can be a roll and save. How awesome, right? My son Vinny um, made this last year. This was one of my favorite $5 Fridays. You love it? Love it. And then we're done. That was it. So I thought that the envelopes will go into this. I think the envelope's going to go into there. And the savings challenges are going to go in the back. And this one definitely needs to go in that. And then I'm going to cut these down and I am going to work them into my book. If Halloween got you excited and you are still with me, I am going to pick 10 people, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 that leaves me the hashtag Halloween in that description box below. So this is open to every subscriber. You must be a visual, a visible subscriber. So that means your, your subscription needs to be turned on, meaning I can see it, right? And then we have 18 or older and it's open to international and USA because it's digital content. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna give you your choice of one, one of my Halloween items. Not a book, but just one of the printables like the matching challenge and envelope or just the envelope combo. Not the whole book system. It could be, it could be just the smaller, right? You know what I'm talking about, the challenge and the envelope. So hopefully you get that. It's not gonna be for a book, like a, a set. It's only gonna be for individual challenges and their matching envelope. Ah, 
there you go. I got it out. Like I said, I hope that you enjoyed this. I did bring this back in before I go. This was the um, Happy Planner set. I haven't known how to open it for Beetlejuice. And I am a Beetlejuice girl too. And I just had to have it. Will I bring this into play this year? No. This is probably going to be next year's. Yeah, this will probably be next year's. I want Jack and Sally to be it. I want the Fab Five to be it and a Halloween Town. So this will come into play. I try to use all the things that I have eventually. If that made you smile, give me a smile face emoji. And I hope you enjoyed this. I will be back here later saving with Halloween. Have a great one. Bye, everyone.